The celebrity chef is leaving Boston a free man. A judge found Mario Batali not guilty on charges of indecent assault. Ken McLeod is live tonight with more on this. And Ken, this was a very quick trial. <laughs> Yeah, Lisa, the uh, trial here was initially expected to take a week or more. Instead, it barely lasted a day and a half. And in the end, it was pretty clear that Judge James Stanton was not buying the accuser's version of events. I'm going to find the defendant not guilty. With those words, Mario Batali was off the hook on charges he'd groped a female fan during a 2017 selfie she requested with a celebrity chef at a Back Bay restaurant. His defense opted for a bench trial, no jury. It was a great call. Former prosecutor Jennifer Roman says removing the potential of emotional jury debate was key. The bench trial was a critical decision for Mario Batali in this case, and it ended up being the right decision. Batali certainly came into court with baggage, several allegations of inappropriate behavior with women, some settled with out-of-court payments, not to mention virtual banishment from his many TV shows and restaurant empire. Today, the judge gave him a tongue lashing, but made it clear he suspected this victim's motive was money. Really what happened here was you had a judge who applied the law, assessed the credibility of the alleged victim, which was really the key in this case. Indeed, the defense pointed to several instances where they believe the accuser schemed to dodge jury duty or get a free gym membership. But perhaps most damaging was chit-chat with a friend over selling the selfie and her Batali story to TMZ. Her testimony is that he assaulted her in those first five photos. There's a three-minute break, and then she agrees to take more photos. It makes no sense. Still, the DA called Batali's actions abhorrent, saying they were disappointed in the judge's verdict and pledging they will not waver in our support for the victim. So this case isn't over. We're going to hear more about it for sure. That's because the accuser in this trial still has a civil case pending against Batali. Had he been found guilty today, that might have been a slam dunk considering the lower standard of proof, but not now. Live at Boston Municipal Court tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Ken, thank you.